What is this music that's playing? It's a mate of mine's band, funnily enough. Did you have a good Christmas? Good New Year? Good? Got any records for Christmas? Too much to drink, too much food? Yeah, tell me about it. Having to go back on my diet again. It's been a bit of a nightmare. Anyway, back to the music. This is my mate, Matt Bass. He's got a um, black metal project. Uh, this is Witch Glam. He's got a death metal one called Dead Man's Blood as well. Uh, this is uh, an album he put out through Darkness Shade Records. It's called Misanthropist. And it's actually playing now in the background. I know if you get in touch with Matt, uh, or go to the witchclan.co.uk official website, or look onto Facebook, Matt Bass Witch Clan, uh, I'm sure he's got a few of these left. Now mine, I think it was a numbered edition. This is strict, oh, they're, they all are, they're all limited to 500. Uh, mine is number 66. So there you go. Very, very good. Very, very good listen. You can hear it in the background. All good stuff, and it's recommended for fans of uh, Bestial Hell Metal exclusively. So uh, check that out if you want to get some decent uh, Hell Metal into your collection, which I know people watching this video will want to do. Um, who wants to see some new records I've picked up recently? Okay, starting off with, uh, I got some, uh, some records from a distro in the UK called Misako on Ojo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, and I got some very nice seven inches and a nice Impetigo. Um, it's an official release of the Giallo demo and the some tracks from the Antifato uh, split seven inch that they did with Blood many, many years ago. This is very early Impetigo stuff. It's uh, it's been re reissued, re-released with full cooperation of the band. So there you go. Artwork by Steve O. Dobbins, who was the bassist and vocalist. Really nice package. This one. It comes on uh, either black or like a splattered grey vinyl with some nice liner notes and lots of very nice photographs. Good sound quality. Even though the demo. Giallo was, um, all, all, uh, sorry, all, all we need is cheese, I think it was called. Um, the guitars were actually plugged directly into the monitor board. Um, so they sounded quite shrill. They weren't recorded going via guitar amp heads. This is the Splatter Grey Vinyl Edition, which I've got here. It's great, I played it yesterday. Very, very thick vinyl. Um, not warped one little bit. A uh, real, real raw sound to because obviously the master tape would have been cassette or dat. Uh, but I love this band. They're, they're just full of humour. Uh, they got great riffs. And if I could really just listen to one death metal band or early progenitors of gore grind, I think it would be these guys. Uh, now I know that Hell's Headbangers records are reissuing again. Ultimo, uh, Mondo Cannibale, and Horror of the Zombies on vinyl, uh, which is going to be released in the next couple of weeks. So head on out to Hell's Headbangers uh, to order those, or your favourite distro which stocks Hell's Headbangers uh, products, because um, they're going to be reissues of the albums which came out about four years ago and sold out really quickly. So they've got posters and booklets and all things like that in them. The great records and a great band, and I can heartily recommend these guys to you if you don't know much about them, which you should do. Uh, another one I picked up very recently, very cheap, was this. This is uh, Celtic Frost. Uh, this is Morbid Tales. Uh, this is not a first pressing, so it doesn't include the poster. This is a latter uh, uh, pressing on noise records from Germany. Um, but it's great. The, the vinyl is almost mint on this one. Uh, it does include an insert sheet uh, where there's all sorts of t-shirts that you could send up for and, and stuff like that. So it's a great record. It's uh, if, you, if you're not sure, never heard much about Celtic Frost. Well, these guys formed from the um, stinking corpse that was Hellhammer, uh, which were among the first death black metal bands around, in my opinion. Um, Tom Warrior, he was the guy that started, in my opinion, doing the death grunts. I'm not. Hey! Say that again in a minute. That's great. There you go, these guys were the first people really along with Sarcophago from Brazil, 
merciful fate that we're wearing early corpse paint and heavily spikes, lots of black clothing and armour which bands like Mayhem you know, they really used as well in their photo shoots and general image, particularly on album covers and live. So there you go, pick this one up, it's grey, it's heavy, it's sludgy, it's doomy, uh, it's out of control. This is Celtic Frost, Morbid Tales. Uh, actually, some other stuff I got from the distro. Great band I've just discovered from Florida, Druid Lord. Um, they have uh, Pete Slate on guitar, he used to play in Acheron with Vincent Crowley. In fact, I think he played on the rights of the Black Mass, their debut. This is Barren Blood, a 7 inch EP. Uh, now, this one has been released on Dementia Records, which are a Czech uh, record la label. Uh, it's great, it's doomy, it's deathly, it's thrashy. It takes the best aspects of those genres and just creates something which is fantastic. It's got a nice insert sheet there with some liner notes, bits of the band along with the lyrics as well. And it comes on the black vinyl, which is what I've got, or I think red. Now red was very limited to a small amount of copies and sold out quite quickly. You might find a disco that still has that. I can't say enough good things about this band. They're almost my best, my, my favourite new death metal band. They're just amazing. The songs are fantastic. They look really good live. There's some good footage of them on YouTube if you want to check it out. Uh, I've just ordered their album on vinyl as well from Discogs. It should be here very, very soon. Uh, but these guys have a Facebook page as well. Check these guys out. Uh, this only cost me a fiver and it was really money well spent. Seeing as it's, it's only two tracks, but there's two brilliant tracks uh, are well worth it. So check out Druid Lord and this is their latest release. Hope to hear more from them very soon. Another 7 inch is uh, Cripborn on Detest Records. I think this one came out in 2012. This is another two tracker. Very, very guttural death metal. Um, very, very heavy. It's a two-tracker, Born From The Grave and Pleasing Rotten Image. So there you go, you have the lyrics on the back there. Uh, I just love these little seven inches of these newer bands I've not heard of before, so I like to collect these. Uh, this one comes recommended. So Detest Records again on black vinyl. Uh, song style very, very good. Musicianship's very tight. Drumming is excellent. But there you go bit of crit board. I'm going to turn this down a bit so just worried it's a bit loud. There we go. Hopefully if that was a bit loud that would have improved things. And then another 7 inch. This is a reissue of the famous incarnation uh, of morbidity demo by Cemetery from Sweden. Recorded at Sunlight Studios. It's a really really nice package this one. Now it's only a two tracker plus an intro but uh, what a two tracker. It's fabulous. What I thought was a very neat touch inside, it's not a proper cover, it's a fold over cover, but they've actually got a reproduction of what they used on the mixing desk um, when they were, uh, were actually recording the demo. So it's got information about where the kick drums, what track they're on, what, where, where the vocals are. So there's a bit of history there. This has been put out by To The Death and Blood Harvest Records. Um, this one's on a mix of black and red vinyl. There we go, like a nice transparent. The labels on the record are actually on the wrong way, so side A's label is on side B and so forth. Um, it comes with a nice booklet, which has got an interview with the band. Uh, it's like a 16 page booklet. There we go, so it's, it is all good with some nice photographs and things like that. So for five, six pounds, it was a really, really good uh, good thing to pick up, something a little bit different and a nice way of doing uh, reissues of old demos but putting them on vinyl, adding things like booklets, giving a lot of liner notes and things like that. So if any of the old classic bands are thinking of reissuing demos on vinyl, which might be a good idea because I'll certainly buy them, uh, take a leaf at Cemetery's book and uh, do it like that. But it's classic Swedish death metal with a classic Swedish sound, fantastic vocals, and 
genuine songs. So check this two tracker out. It's fabulous. Okay, moving on to more classic stuff. This is Venom. This is the singles, 80 to 86. This was issued on Raw Power, which was a offshoot, I think, of Castle Communications, a UK record label, uh, which used to do a lot of greatest hits of bands like Motorhead and Sabbath and Purple and people like that. Now, as the title of this album says, this is purely the single uh, mixes uh, to Classic Venom. So In League With Satan, Bloodlust, Die Hard, Lady Lust, Seven Gates of Hell and Manitou. Now I used to own this many years ago on, on tape um, and I used to play it constantly and I think these mixes are my favourite Venom material. This album is just brilliant, there is no filler, it's just absolute killer, killer Venom. And if you haven't really heard a lot of Venom compared to today's black metal it's quite different but guys this is where it all started and without this band uh, there wouldn't really be any black metal so if you can pick this one up it doesn't go for a lot I got this for about seven quid off uh, discogs uh, this is a great Venom album uh, and I actually listen to this more than I do Welcome to Hell or black metal so I just prefer the mixes on there they're just fantastic but there you go that's the track list in there and like I said you can, you can pick this up on CD and also cassette I used to own the cassette version many years ago when I was about 11. There you go. This is a yellow goat Bathory. Uh, but is it a real yellow goat Bathory? No, it's not, sadly. This is a bootleg reissue. This is about as close as I'm ever going to get to a yellow goat Bathory. Uh, it's a pretty good sounding bootleg, in my opinion. Um, there we go. It's pretty accurate. The matrix numbers aren't the same at all, so which is good really because it's very hard for people to to sort of realise and find out if they've got proper first pressings. So this one does have its differences. The printing isn't quite as crisp either, um, which leads me to believe. And it's also obviously it's it's brand new and mint. So any copies of, of the yellow go, you're unlikely to get a real one that's in mint condition particularly the cover. Um, now there is a guy, I think it's V Bathory, he has a channel on here. If you want to learn more about the Yellow Goat, he does a completely brilliant visual run through of it on YouTube. Uh, just type in V Bathory and it should come up, or even just type in Yellow Goat Bathory. And there's a, two videos he's done showing the album up close and everything like that. Musically, uh, the first three albums are where it's at for Bathory for me. They're really untouched in terms of black metal. This is a fantastic record. Um, quite thrashier compared to the other two, which were the, the Return and Under the Sign of, of the Black Mark. But Cawthorn's vocals are absolutely possessed. So if you don't own Bathory, go for the first three first. Probably the best one is the third album, Under the Sign of the Black Mark. But the Return is perhaps the evilest one. But this is a great start as well. Um, they didn't issue this, uh, they only issued I think five, 600 copies originally with this yellow cover. Um, they wanted it to look more gold but the, the record label Black Mark didn't have the funds to, to use gold ink for the pressing plant so the thoughts behind it were let's get a colour which is very close to it which was this yellow colour. There you go. Um, but only a few of them were pressed because Cawthorn, who was the main man behind the band of course, uh, wasn't keen on it. So that they went with a white goat uh, and, a, and, a, and a white pentagram as well. So uh, if anyone does own a yellow goat, why don't you do a video response to me here uh, and show it off because um, I'd love to get hold of one one day. But it's so expensive. Okay, I found a lot of original earache records in my local record shop in Froome called Raves from the Grave. And they were very cheap, about six, seven quid each. The first one, first one is this, Filthy Christians, Mean. Swedish band, very, very punky, hardcore. Um, grind, very early grindcore, a bit like bands like Unseen Terror, Repulsion, Napalm Death. Very good album. This is an original copy. In fact, so it's got its cellophane on as well. It's got the inner sleeve with all the original Ear 8 releases. And of course the original Ear 8 logo, which is great. It's a good album, there's about 18 tracks on it. They're all very, very fast and furious. Uh, good vocals, good singing, good playing. 
Uh, but something I really, really couldn't pass up. There you go, Filthy Christians. The next one was the second release Eero ever put out. This is Heresy on one side and Concrete Socks on another. And this is very, very fast UK uh, hardcore punky thrash. And there you go. Uh, it's very, very loose. It's very, very rough and ready. It's not really 100% my thing. I'm not a huge fan of this sort of thing, but it's very early earache, so I thought I'd add that to the collection. And then similar to that is Unseen Terror, which was a band which had Shane Embry, of course, the, the, uh, one of the founders of Napalm Death in as well, Mitch Dickinson on guitar. And this is a little bit more deathly, this one. This is a little bit more up my, up my strata, as they say. Uh, once again, about 22 tracks on this one. Um, only cost me a fiver. Uh, this is the fourth release that Ear 8 put out. This is Mosh 4 on the catalogue number. And this this is part of a big punk collection that uh, the record shop bought in. So I had to pick up that one. Unseen Terror. There you go. They've got a bit of a fixation with the cartoon cat Garfield as well, which is quite worrying. Uh, but there you go. Worth picking up. A little bit more mainstream stuff for you now. Uh, Slayer have done a big reissue campaign of their American recording album. So Rain in Blood all through to the new one, World Painted Blood. And I picked up Divine Intervention because I didn't own that and I hadn't owned this one on vinyl yet. This is 1998's divisive release, Diabolus in Musica, or The Devil in Music, i.e. the tritone. Um, which if you want to know what a tritone sounds like, listen to the opening riff uh, to Black Sabbath. Now this is obviously a reissue. Uh, it comes with a couple of lyric inserts there for the tracks, uh, with some graphics on. Very very spooky cover and a really nice pressing on 180 gram wax. There you go. It's a real heavy thick sounding record. This one. It certainly isn't my favourite Slayer album. Um, they've become a little bit more syncopated, if you know what I'm saying. A lot more new metal. Uh, with this release, but there are some good tracks on it. Um, most of this album was written by Jeff Hanneman, um, and it's very, very raw, aggressive. Obviously, Dave Lombardo didn't play on this album, uh, it was called Boaster. Uh, but the, probably the most famous track from this album is Stain of Mind, which they still play occasionally live now. But it's, uh, it's either a love it, it's his Slayer's Marmite release. Um, if you want to get a really, really nice pressing of that and to, uh, to try and complete your Slayer collection. So I know it was hard to find on vinyl this one. Um, pick it up. It's out now. Okay, last one for today. This is one of my better finds. Only 25 quid off eBay and it sells for up to £100. This is in really good condition. It plays flawlessly. This is Therian from Sweden. This is Of Darkness. Original pressing on Def Records. Uh, which were an offshoot of Peaceville from Yorkshire in England. And it's great. This is the era of Therian that uh, is really, really deathly. And fantastic death metal from start to finish. So look at that vinyl, it's almost mint. Oh, I'm so pleased. I was so fortunate really picking that, that one up. Because like I said, it has gone for 70, 80 pounds previously. Uh, this one's in very, very nice condition. So there we go guys, bit of Therian of Darkness. If you like Swedish death metal, this is certainly one to consider picking up. Alright, enjoy the records, thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Cheers.